Thank you, Speaker. My question is, is to the Minister for Fair Trading. Minister, my community is excited for the new mine subsidence compensation system. Can you please outline how the consultation is progressing and what is the next stage of the new fairer system? Minister. Uh, thank you very much, Speaker. Can I thank the member for Wallandilly for her question and for her continued advocacy for her community? I would say the best member for Wallandilly this parliament has ever had. Uh, I am pleased to inform the House, Mr Speaker, that the government has spent, has spent the past five weeks— Members, members, that should not have been a controversial comment. Members will just I, come to order. I, I am, in, I am pleased to inform the House, Mr Speaker, the government has spent the past five weeks consulting on the new draft approved procedures for coal mine subsidence compensation claims. The public consultation process has also been extended due to the request from the member for Wallandine on the behalf of her community. What this shows, Mr Speaker, is that the Minns Labor government is listening to ensure that people's voices are heard. It should be noted, Mr Speaker, that in August the government passed the Coal Mine Subsidence Amendment Act 2024 to implement the recommendations for the statutory review, which was carried out in 2021. The government amended the Act also to require public consultation to the approved procedures. We got straight to work after passing the legislation and the consultation process started on September the 19th. But prior to this amendment, Mr Speaker, Subsidence advisory in New South Wales were only required to consult with mining operators for changes to the approved procedures. It can't be understated how important this change is for residents in Wallandilly, Walls End, Newcastle and all those residents who live in areas that are affected by coal mine subsidence. The government's comprehensive reforms to the coal mine subsidence compensation uh, process gets the balance right between residents and mining proprietors. These reforms, Mr Speaker, include extending relocation compensation to affected residents, uh, increased powers for subsidence advisory to provide support in mine subsidence events to arrange accommodation and reimburse out-of-pocket expenses like food and clothing if people are, have to relocate due to emergencies, allowing claims to be lodged outside of the online portal, uh, powers for the subsidence advisory to direct pre-mining inspections requiring information and documents from mining proprietors and clarifying the subsidiary subsidence advisory is responsible for assessing claims for compensation, expanding the scope of pursued procedures, outlining the steps that occur before, during and after the determination of claims, and increasing penalties to ensure that are actually in line with inflation. In short, Mr Speaker, the Minns Labor government has acted to ensure that compensation process for coal mine subsidence is robust and fair. I'm pleased to also advise the House, Mr Speaker, the government is getting on with the job of implementing the changes to the coal mine subsidence compensation system. The public consultation ends tonight, uh, but is seeking feedback on the draft approval procedures that will work to provide more clarity and certainty to the mine subsidence compensation claims process. Previously, there had only been a significant number of amount of uncertainty regarding who is actually responsible for the determination of the claims. Member for Wallandilly. Can I ask for some extra time for the completion of the answer? Uh, I'll grant the minister an additional two minutes and just be, uh, draw members' attention to the clock. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Again, I thank the member for the extension. The approved procedures uh, on public exhibition clarify subsidence advisory in New South Wales is responsible for determining claims, making it clear that the government is in control of the compensation process and not the mining operators. In 2017, the Act introduced a no-cost review, allowing residents to appeal decisions to the, uh, the, the Secretary of the Department of Customer Service. This was only available. This was the only available mechanism for people who wanted to challenge the outcome for their claim prior to appealing to the Land Environment Court. Through the, through the survey, uh, we are currently receiving feedback on a second no-cost review mechanism. Uh, these measures will give residents multiple no-cost opportunities to ensure they are receiving adequate compensation for damage from coal mine subsidence to their property while working to reduce the burden on the land and environment court. Mr Speaker, I sincerely thank the member for Wallandilly for her important question and continued advocacy on the behalf of her community. 
I very much look forward to working with the member to ensure that coal mining subsidence compensation system continues to deliver for the community.